Hello there, my name is Thomas Frank and I am a full-time YouTuber, blogger, podcaster, and all-around content creator who manages his entire content creation process in Notion. From idea generation, to validation, to project management, to archiving and reference, everything we do as it relates to content creation happens entirely in Notion at this point. And you can do the exact same thing with Creators Companion. This is an advanced Notion template that replicates our content management process exactly. You will get to use what we use for managing two YouTube channels, two blogs, a podcast, and other social media platforms. This is where everything happens. And I built this because I was tired of juggling tons of different apps. I was tired of coming up with ideas and writing scripts in Evernote, dealing with task management and Todoist, using Google Calendar for my editorial calendar. I was tired of juggling all these different platforms. I wanted everything in one spot and I wanted it to work seamlessly with the way that I work. I wanted to be able to write dump research. I wanted to be able to have B-roll lists for my editor. I wanted to be able to have task management. Creators Companion does all of that. This is a template I've been working on internally for more than two years, and now I think it's ready for you to use as well. So in this video, I want to show you a brief overview of what you get with Creators Companion. You can see everything else on the sales page as well. And I'll let you know right up front, there is a full community where you can get support and add suggestions for improvements that we can make to Creators Companion going forward into the future when you buy. So here is what you see when you get Creators Companion. This is the demo content. You can actually browse around this after you buy, and you're also going to have access to the blank template that you can duplicate right into your workspace. I'm gonna show you the demo version simply because it has some demo content in it. First and foremost, you have this beautiful dashboard where everything going on in your content business is uh, basically a click away. You have this jump bar here, which gets you to all the main views in Creators Companion, and they are logically ordered by the way you work through the content creation process. You have your idea generation page, an SEO and keyword research area, if you do that kind of thing, a validation area for making sure that your ideas are actually good ones worth pursuing, a project management and maintenance page for the project manager on your team, maybe that's you, and finally an analysis page for analyzing the performance of your content, getting feedback loops into place, and learning from the performance of the things you put out into the world. You also have an area where you can get to all of your different channels, be they YouTube channels, blogs, podcasts, TikTok accounts, whatever it may be. And you have a centralized wiki where you can have sponsors, gear lists, contacts, documentation, and standard operating procedures. So you have documented processes for people on your team or for you if you forget things in the future and checklists that could be synced to your actual projects. If we go into one of your channels here, the Thomas Frank YouTube channel is my main demo content. We see everything that is in progress for this channel. And we also see completed projects, either in a table view or in a thumbnail view where we can see the thumbnails. We can see SEO keywords that are associated with this channel. So we have a full dashboard for every single channel where we can see at a glance what is going on, what has been done so we can reference it for future uses and any keywords that we want to be tracking. We can also go back and go through our content creation process. We have an idea tracking page. Anytime you have an idea, you can add it to a column for a specific channel in your business, or you can switch over to a tag view and you can add them for specific tags. You can also hook up API connections to allow your audience to submit ideas and then drag them into your content idea area. You can then go into the validation area and you can mark things with search interest, topic trend, or your gut prediction for how they will do, and then move over to a prioritization view where only things that had a high tag in any one of those three categories are gonna show up. So you can prioritize only the best ideas that are worth your time investment. You can then green light those ideas. So how to wake up early without feeling tired, I'll uncheck idea and I can see it down here in my planned projects area. I can go ahead and set a channel for it, a publish date for it, a focus keyword if I want, and a status, which is gonna be planned by default. Then we can move on to the projects area. This is the hub of your business. Everything going on, everything that has not come out yet that needs to be done is gonna show up with its status here. We have a Kanban style projects in progress view here. So you can see everything that is planned under research being written, needs to be reviewed, ready to record or editing if you're a video creator and so on and so forth. We can also see our full editorial calendar, late content, things that have a set publish date that is in the past, and also content tasks that are associated with a piece of content if you're using the ultimate tasks version of Creators Companion. Everything that is going on in your content business shows up here. 
We also have a maintenance view with some helper functions. So unpaid content if you work with sponsors, content to update if you're a blogger who wants to regularly update blog posts or make new videos on timely topics that are constantly getting updates, and also projects on hold, things that you don't wanna delete, but wanna get out of your hair until you decide to work on them later. Finally, we have our analysis view. This view is very important because as a content creator, you wanna learn from the content you put out in the world and make better content going forward. So if you have a video that does exceptionally well or a video that doesn't do very well, you can come in here and you can add performance notes. Maybe lack of concrete examples could be an example here. Or this video did really well, the thumbnail was great, the title was great, do more like this. You can add view performance, sponsor performance, and you can compare that to your original predictions. It is all about bringing your predictive ability in line with reality. The better you get at this, the better you're able to predict how something is going to do the better your content creation is going to do in general. Finally, I want to show you an actual project here in Creators Companion. And uh, we'll just show you this how to stop feeling so tired when you wake up here. You get this one-stop shop area for managing every aspect of your content creation process. So here we have some correspondence with uh, one of the people on my team on what we should do, some changes we should make. And then we also have pages and areas for every step of the creation process. Topic validation. There is a worksheet in here that will really challenge you to make sure that the topic you're doing and the angle you're taking is one that is going to be uh, one that serves your audience and hopefully gets a lot of views and a lot of attention. We can bring in our focus keyword and set it so we get um, research coming in that it's associated with that focus keyword. It's all sort of talking to itself. And if we go back here, we also have a related content area. So if you want to have one area where you can see all kinds of content that is related to itself, maybe TikTok, Instagram versions, tweets, uh, blog posts, podcasts that all are related to one YouTube video or many YouTube videos related to one topic, they're all going to show up here. Next, we have our content area. So we have a research and notes area where you can just dump tons of research and you can basically just brain dump everything, and just kind of take notes on lots of stuff. And finally, use that information to go and write a full fledged script, which is exactly what I do for nearly all of my videos. I will then take this script, bring it up on an iPad that I put on a music stand, and I will look at my lines and then say them to the camera like I am right now, except for this is completely extemporaneous. You also get checklists. There is a editing checklist, a publishing checklist. These are centrally located in Creators Companion, but they're also here, so you can easily check them off as you go. And you have a task management in B-roll area. So if you get the version of Creators Companion with ultimate tasks built in, which is my uh, huge task management template for Notion, you're going to have a task manager area in every single project and any task added to that project is going to be associated with it, but also show up in today, next seven days, prioritization, all those smart views that you probably have seen from ultimate tasks before. Lastly, we have this B-roll area where you can add B-roll ideas if you are a video creator, such as animations, B-roll that's going to play on top of your A-roll, the talking head stuff, pictures, things like that. You can put them here, add timestamps, add uh, tags, all kinds of interesting stuff like that. This is actually the thing that got us into Notion in the first place. And in my opinion, it's one of the most helpful parts of the template if you are a video creator. But even if you are not, Creators Companion in general is designed to help you manage your entire content creation process, again, in one spot. It is mobile optimized, it is organized, things talk to each other. It is what I have wanted for a very long time for managing my entire content creation business. And I think you are gonna find it incredibly helpful as well. If you're ready to give it a try, you can find it over at thomasjfrank.com slash CC, and you might be on the sales page right now, but if you're not, remember that URL, uh, check it out, and let me know what you think.